All right, uh, this is Metal Slug 2. Came in 98, two years after the first one. And um, for those of you who are familiar with the Metal Slug series, and you played the original Metal Slug 2 in the arcades, you'd know that this game has so much lag that it's nearly unplayable. And um, while I really love this game, I even I think that it has just too much lag in the original version, and actually really nobody likes to play that. So for that reason, uh, I'm playing this one on a hacked console. Like um, my MVS board has been uh, overclocked from 12 megahertz to 18, and I have on my Metal Slug 2 card, I have the Turbo patch installed. I soldered uh, another EEPROM on the card. And while it probably sounds like cheating, um, <laughs> <laughs> is this the cheating? Well, <laughs> there's there's nobody else who is running the arcade category like the on the original hardware, and there's nobody running this. And actually, every single person who runs this game runs it with emulators that em em remove all the lag. So I'm still I'm still handicapped against those runs. I just run this because I like this so much. And um, with that, time starts again when the guy hits the ground. Good luck now. This game is quite a bit more fast-paced than uh, Metal Slug 1. And some of the, the, for example, the jump height is already, uh, well, the jump length is, is uh, shorter. The, the first Metal Slug game, you, the jumps are really floaty. And in this one, it's a more fluid, fluid motion. And uh, another thing compared to Metal Slug 1 is that this game is a lot harder. <laughs> Like uh, very much. I've played this probably 10 times more than the first one, but I have still never managed to beat this deathless. And I've, I've played this for years, both casually and, and speedrunning. So, is there any difference between the characters? No, only they just look different. Okay. I I believe the the guy who is pioneered most of the Metal Slug scene, or at least is dominating it currently, he's theorized that that when turning cranks in uh, stage five, the female characters are slightly less efficient. <laughs> But uh, I'm not really sure if, if that's accurate or just uh, like a... Okay. Spawn manipulation quite failed there, but... Uh, and uh, there's a lot of n new knee features added in this game. For example, which I did really not want to show, <laughs> is that <laughs> when you get hit with the with the purple breath, you turn into a mummy. And I was not. I was just gonna say that I don't want to demonstrate it. But um, well, no, you did. <laughs> yes. Unfortunately, the first portion to turn me back to a human is this close, so I don't really need to worry about it too much. But uh, of course, normally for a speedrun, that would be completely unacceptable. For a very nervous marathon run, I think it's acceptable, though. Here's another section where I'm trying to manipulate the last set of spawns as close to the left side of the screen as possible.
Oh my god. <sighs> ah, this boss would have been dead within two seconds after I died if I hadn't. So. But then, um, well, on yeah. the positive side, at least you got to admire the boss for a yeah. bit longer. <laughs> this art is so cool. Like, it's, it's super like good looking. Yeah, yeah. These these games are, I think, the pinnacle of 16-bit pixel art. And given the extra power that the MVS has compared to its uh, like home console partners. Uh, you really have a lots of room for sprites, so you get get to shove in a whole ton of animation. Okay, I'm coming up to the next spot where. Uh, I need to eliminate a few pretty nasty boats in order to make progress. And these are complete RNG, how they move from this point on. So I'm hoping they would stay together to kind of die together. And they mostly did. But sometimes those guys can be really annoying and waste a lot of time. Oh, a couple of secret hostages to give me more bombs. And here again, I try to move to the right side of the screen just before killing the last, and giving the last hit. And now, careful! I don't really want to get hit here. These guys below me—they are pretty nasty. They actually deal two damage for whatever reason instead of one, which is common. And if I get hit now, then I. Uh, have no health left to deal with the boss, which makes it kind of dangerous. But now I can kind of be pretty careless because... Uh, yeah. That's that. And uh, in this game, most of the time I have it pretty well calculated how many bombs I'm trying to save and how many I'm using in different places and so forth. But uh, the, the random nature of this game and the whole series is that sometimes it just doesn't play out exactly as you expect it to that. The, for example, all the, all the bombs and uh, fl flamethrower and shotgun and these, these guns have uh, some splash damage which can do things sometimes. And also the many bigger enemies have uh, multiple hitboxes. So there's quite a bit of variance, especially if you have multiple hitboxes and then you have splash damage combined to those. So you just become fat. Yes, <laughs> this stage <laughs> has a peculiarity in it that if you collect enough food bonuses, you get fat. <laughs> uh, it's it's not a bene beneficial state to be in, not in real life or in the game. Uh, and um, it, it makes you fire slower, it makes you move slower, and uh, uh, okay. it's just a pain in the butt. But fortunately, I don't really need to worry about it anymore since I'm not getting out of my tank. There is a strat for the final or the last boss of the stage, which requires you not to be fat, but it's also a lot harder and a little bit risky. So I'm just using uh, the much, much, much easier strat, which is barely any slower. Yeah. And I can uh, stay in the safe and comfort of my uh, Metal Slug tank. There we go. Nice. And now starts the hard part. The first four stages are supposedly easy, but the fifth one, the first part of the fifth stage is 
immensely difficult. I'm not expecting to get through alive, but I will try. I actually made through the hard part. <laughs> That's a freaking go. Well, hardest part. Uh -huh. Next section is not quite as difficult, but uh, a mistake will be much more costly. So this is kind of, lots and lots of people who play this casually will really curse this part because uh, having to gun down these trains with the pistol is, is pain. It's pain in the butt and it's pain in the wrist. And it's, it's just all around pain. So if I manage to fail my weapon strategy, I will have to resort to gunning them down with the pistol and that's that really, really sucks. Okay, that doesn't really, really suck, but it but the, yeah, kind of sucks. There's the heavy. Yeah, I'm still... Oh, uh, okay. Now well, it's get, now it's getting hard. Well, it's... Well, yeah. I can still somehow make it, but... Um, oh, oh. There was a chance for me to get rid of the tank on that's coming from the left. But instead, I made all the mistakes that I possibly yeah. can in this section. If I manage to move the screen back and forth, left and right, in, in a correct way, just as the left tank was spawning, I could have managed to kind of despawn the tank. And uh, it's a pretty essential strat for a successful speedrun of this game. Yeah. And in the last stage, uh, there will be lots more despawning of enemies in places where you can uh, scroll the screen left and right. Yeah, this is um, <laughs> this is not so much fun. <laughs> yeah, it's a, not that fast. Yeah. That at least for the final train, I have uh, saved bombs so that that I don't have to kill my wrist any further. And what I'm doing with the laser, uh, I'm crouch cancelling the laser, so that instead of wasting four ammo, I'm uh, wasting only a couple, but still dealing the same damage as, as four or full blast would have dealt. And now, the mutants. These guys are usually fairly docile, but uh, in my practice run earlier, uh, I think I died like four times in this section, and that's the most I probably ever died. <laughs> Since like years ago. Let's I don't know how but that was even possible. Let's get that marathon luck. Yeah, I think I hopefully wasted all my really bad luck on on that run. Yeah. Tank is so comfy. Yeah, this should be pretty. That there's there are a few patterns which if if the boss repeats those patterns uh, over and over, then they will become a problem. But even then, uh, there's always a, a a cheat in this game that uh, or not a cheat exactly. I think it's an intended mechanism that when you jump out of the metal slug tank and in it you you get some iframes on both situations, so that. Uh, when the boss was firing me just now, I could have just jumped out of the tank ah. and then jumped back in yeah. again and I would have uh, survived on the yeah. account of my iframes. 
But since I knew that I, uh, I was about to destroy it anyway, I didn't want to waste time on that. But for casual players, uh, using the iframes of the tank are it's quite useful. Yeah. Makes sense. And I might have to also resort to doing that on the final boss. This is now the final stage. No. That seems tricky. No. <laughs> we good, we good, let's go. Yeah. We good. Okay, I will be requiring more volume just in a bit. There's the only section in the game where uh, audio cue is required. Okay, no. Max. No, I failed it. Sorry. No, it's Max. Yeah. You can turn it back lower again. It doesn't really matter anymore. That's really unfortunate. <laughs> Free, really? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> There's an audio cue, which is really precise, actually. If you, if you uh, jump at the very precise time, the boss will try to uh, knife you down. And uh, since you are on a, a lower platform, he obviously will fail that. And during the time he's knifing you, uh, you can spam him with bombs from below. So essentially the boss dies like that. But I was kind of expecting this anyway, since the, the queue is, is uh, it's really precise. It's one of the tricks I spent most time practicing in this game. On the upcoming section I will try to move the screen in a way so that I will have to destroy only two tanks instead of three. Uh, but uh, I fucked it up totally. Because I ran out of uh, ammo in <laughs> exactly the wrong time, and now instead of two tanks, I got four. That's a lot of <laughs> enemies in the screen. Yeah. And this is another randomness. You, you never know which one of these guys is going to give you the weapon. And same comes again soon. Are those the octopus from Alfred Ye Ye Quack? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure. <laughs> yeah, here I'm doing some despawning by moving back and forth. Okay. No. Okay, that's... That's pretty much it for this run to be really good. Shame. Because um, shotgun saving strats, which are essential for the final boss to be fast, I depend on my helper guy, which I released earlier and subsequently got rid of by dying. That sword effect is so good. No. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh More my or less God. I expect at this point that it's really, really difficult to make it through this. And the sprite limit is, is hitting as well. Yeah. Yeah, so instead of six bombs, I'm supposed to be having like 40 to 60 bombs at this stage, depending on... <laughs> That's very <really> hard. <laughs> yeah, 
yeah, it, it, it doesn't, I have to admit, it doesn't happen often that I get to the final boss with, with a decent amount of shotgun shells and bombs. And that's one of the things that makes this run insidiously difficult, that even if you make it through the whole game up to, up to the last stage, you have to perform the last, last stage perfectly up to the final boss and including the final boss. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, if you don't, especially if you make a mistake near the boss, uh, that, that's automatic loss. Sounds like a speed run. Yeah. <laughs> I can I can pray for a good drop, but um, which that is actually an excellent drop. Nice. But it's not going to save me. Like. Okay. Since the boss is firing this quickly already, uh, it means that it's near to die. Okay. But, uh, but I really mm -hmm. need right now a good drop. And nice. Okay, and now the second, the second half of the boss. Right. This is the this is the part that the most gamers will say is is. Unfair, and okay. uh, it, it pretty much is. If if you try to beat this game casually, no matter how hard you try, uh, this second part is just unfair, and there are it's insidiously difficult to dodge, dodge the UFOs, and um, even an extended period of dodging them is not gonna do you any good if you don't have a good weapon because uh, the the boss takes so much so much damage. Jesus. Okay, now I'm almost... Whoa, what hit me? I'm almost to the... Almost time. But... Time is coming up. Now. All right. Actually, the, the time is not bad at all. Uh, I wasted more lives than I, I really would have liked, but uh, this was still better than I was expecting because this game is really, really difficult. And dying once in the wrong places, especially stage five, which I think was overall a success. Dying there or making mistakes, losing the laser, losing losing bombs and so forth uh, will will cost a whole lot. And uh, final ending animations, and I want to still see how many continues exactly I spent on this. Okay, that was five credits, so uh, <laughs> that was uh, <laughs> the most I ever did in, in practice earlier. But so, if you wanted to speedrun this and start to like play this, how would you do it? Uh, like, <laughs> like some guy wanted to start to play this. I, well, I like to play all games casually before I speedrun them, but uh, obviously that's not required. And uh, I think the best way to go about it is just. Uh, Grabbing, grabbing an emulator. Yeah. Uh, there are different choices, but uh, I don't, I don't really recommend real hardware as the as the uh, primary choice. It's kind of expensive and uh, difficult to operate. 
Um, if you want to play the arcade original, then I re recommend um, MAME emulator. But if you like to remove all the in-game lag, which are actually much more popular categories on on the leaderboard, then I recommend Win Kavax uh, emulator and using its overclocking feature. And there's a Metal Slug Discord server with where uh, uh, everybody is welcome to come and ask any any advice. And all beginners are welcome there. All right. Uh, Thanks for having me, and uh, shout out to my man PJ. Hope you're okay. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, that's it for me. Now I am off to find me some beer and then enjoy the NES block. <laughs>